Happy birthday to you! Here's our cupcake. Here's our cupcake to eat with the food. Welcome to Sunset 12 at Fruitsbury Crossing. Welcome to Sunset 12, where we will show you the most beautiful sunset over the Fitzroy River. Stay tuned for that at the end. But this morning we started off with a very special birthday. Cake for breakfast. Cake for breakfast. Love our, it. Our love tradition. It. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bordeaux! Oh. Happy birthday to you! Hip hip! Hooray! Hooray. Hip hip! Hooray. Hooray. Another hip hip! Hooray! Yay! Happy, Happy birthday! And blow out your imaginary cans candles! <laughs> They're invisible! <laughs> They're invisible! They're invisible! They're invisible! Our little boy Bordeaux turned Five! One handful! Hey Bordeaux, how old are you today? Five. Five! And what's that big animal behind you that's come to celebrate with you? A cow. A cow, I think it's called a bull because it's a male. Wow, look at his horns. Here he comes. Let's walk. Can't believe it, eh? Time has flown. Yeah, that's been and quick. And our, our little family tradition is, so when we have a birthday, is that we wake up and we get cake for breakfast and we just pig out, basically. Yeah, <laughs> we don't worry about this it. This time there was only imaginary candles to blow out. True, but there was a lovely were cake. couple of cakes, like cake and cupcakes. Cupcakes. And so that's like doubling up. That's awesome. With sprinkles. Yummy. Yeah, and a double... A double bonus is they got to jump in the pool straight after. Yes, yes, and we, double bonus, got to exercise, so we had to work off the cake, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had my fair share of cake. So it was a beautiful morning, just so special to be able to celebrate our little boy number two birthday at uh, Willair. It was just a beautiful spot. So we hit the road after some cooling off in the swimming pool. Yeah, a quick, quick round of laundry. For a and change, of course. Head off, starting to heat up a bit. Yeah. Those were getting warmer. And got to Fitzroy Crossing. Didn't see too much of the town. We went sort of straight to the caravan park. To, to get a spot and settle in. Uh, luckily we could uh, have another dip quickly before we had to go and do the sunset. I managed to put up the drone. Uh, but what a beautiful spot for that river and this just, the caravan park is on the banks of the river and the banks of the river are really high up. The river is down there.
it's such a big river that during its when it's in full full flood or whatever you call it yeah during the rainy season full flow that river can fill Sydney Harbour in six hours just shows you it, yeah, it it's well massive. clearly it's the dry season now as you'll see but um, yeah it's a it's really a beautiful spot it reminded me a lot about our the Elephants River at Willyfantsa Field back in South Africa and our days over there it was just such a magical moment for us but the park itself is huge it looked it felt like we were in the Kruger National Park they, kind of they setup. must cater for I mean clearly we're in the quiet season but they must cater for a lot of um, well, people coming around, probably more so to go and do the Fitzroy and the Kimberleys. Uh, but yeah, it's quite interesting. And, and everything course, is, all the all the uh, amenities are all raised up. So if the river overflows its banks, the uh, amenities and stuff can stay can stay dry. And they so have beautiful safari tent section, which is also mm, that was quite on interesting. the banks of the river. Boys, where are you going? Uh, we're going to because we're all hungry. Oh, we're going to the river now. The river? Yes. Oh. Look at oh, the kangaroos. Yeah. Kangaroos. Just oh, don't chase them, eh? Look at the kangaroos. Wallabies. There they go. Don't chase them. And here is the mighty Fitzroy River. Did you guys know that one of the They are. Mooi kijk waar jullie loop, dat jullie niet op iets naak straf nie. En hier die rivier het krokodille. Aha, ek het nou nog sien dis waar hy brug gerui daar aan die kant, daar is krokodille. But it was really quiet in terms of the number of people there. We can see COVID has definitely hit that area very hard, as opposed to some of the areas on the west coast of WA. Exmouth and Calvary and those spots were packed to the brim. As soon as we moved out of Broome, things got oh, quite really, really quiet. Substantially. Mm. It's changed a lot. So these places are struggling through these times. Definitely. Very much so. Definitely. But it was still an awesome spot. Loved our time there. And we managed to get you this absolutely gorgeous sunset over the river. Common occurrence. There is something in the sky that looks like a rocket ship and I wish I could zoom in. I think it's an aeroplane. It might be a jet. It might be a jet. Sorry, you think it's a rocket ship. Comment down below what you think it is. Mmm, good one. And we're quite excited. We're going to do a quick uh, river gorge on, on a small boat in the morning. So we'll bring you that and we'll carry on to the next destination. <laughs> Long way to go still. Yeah, we're about what, quarter of the way? Ah, I don't know, probably almost. Quarter of the way Something in. Something like that. So stick with us, we'll bring it to you. Come hell or high water, or sun or shine, or no sunshine, or... We haven't done any of that yet. No, 
We had four drops of rain so far. That's about it. I'm looking forward to a bit of rain. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully in the tropics. Uh, anyway. Of Queensland. Yeah. Enjoy the sunset, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Ciao. Hi, we're the De Blanches, unconventional family of six, currently traveling around Australia for the next four months. We're Carl, 44, Chamonix, 41, Monaco, 7, Bordeaux, 5, Everest, 3, and our only little girl, Capri, who is one. We hope you'll keep with us as we bring you 100 sunsets in approximately 100 days while we travel around Australia. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our adventure. adventure. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we.